let's talk about the information cycle. If you're gathering information in your day-to-day -day life, whether that's for your own personal research or for an academic paper, if you're reading the news, watching TV, and posting on social media, you're part of the information cycle. The information cycle represents how information spreads after an event takes place. Everyone is a part of it and everyone contributes. The first step in the information cycle is that an event happens. When an event first occurs, the individuals informed about the event are usually the ones who experienced it firsthand. The second part of the information cycle can happen seconds to minutes to days after the event. This is when you start seeing posts on social media and breaking news stories that let you know the event has taken place but may be limited in the information they provide. As the story develops, the information will generally become more detailed and more accurate. The third step is that print news like newspapers and print magazines or their digital editions begin to publish articles on the event. You'll also see more detailed reports emerge in digital news outlets, meaning that there will be longer articles that will give more details about what has happened as time goes on. This can happen anywhere from days to weeks after the event. The fourth step doesn't happen until months or years after the event. This is when scholarly journal articles will be published. Now, you may encounter scholarly journal articles in your academic research. Scholarly journal articles take a little while to create. Part of the reason for that is that they take time to publish. They also go through something called the peer review process. Before an article is published, it's submitted for publication and reviewed by individuals who are experts in the field. They're going to review this article and potentially submit revisions on the article or suggest changes to be made and make sure that the article that is actually published is cutting edge research that is also accurate and unbiased. While the peer review process ensures that the article's high quality research intended for an academic audience like yourself, the review and publication process can take weeks to months. This means that scholarly peer reviewed journal articles are not available on recent current events. Years after the event, you'll start to see longer works published. Longer works can include things like books, government reports, and anthologies. These can take years to reach publication. And these works will often draw on all of the parts of the information cycle. They might incorporate some of the initial firsthand accounts from witnesses. They may also incorporate early news stories, later news stories, peer reviewed journal articles, and other works that are published long after an event has taken place. For this reason, you're unlikely to find a book on the library shelves that has to do with something that took place weeks or months ago. But the thing to remember is the information cycle is a cycle. While immediately after an event occurs, you're going to have posts shared to social media, initial news reports, and then more detailed reports emerge. You're also going to have posts shared back on social media about those initial news reports. So information is always being created, recreated, and exchanged. But where something falls on the information cycle can tell you a lot about what that information is intended to do and how you can use it. If you have any questions about the information cycle or about how to use information in general, let us know. My library is here to help.